What is going on guys, you're watching Jay's Two Cents, and if you've been following me for any length of time, you know that I am an avid water cooler, which is why I'm really excited to bring you this unboxing of the AlphaCool Nexus CPU water block. This is a high-end copper water block, and let's go ahead and dive inside the package here and see exactly what you get. The box itself is not very uh, exciting, it's just got some, the company logo on there, it's got some barcodes and uh, the name of the product obviously and then you know kind of an electronic little design there. On the back uh, it says ROHS compliant, um, it's got the website for Alpha Cool on there as well as the name of the cooler once again. So the box isn't incredibly exciting but it's what's inside that we're all looking forward to. Uh, right off the bat when you open it up you see you've got your manual here for installing the bracket to hold the block onto the motherboard. You've got your general uh, assembly instructions right here in English. If you open it up, you get basically the same thing here in uh, a few different languages. You've got French, English, and German. You also have some of your security notice here and your warranty information listed right on here. You can find out more about that uh, on their website. You also have a list of the parts that are included here uh, inside the package, and those parts are listed right here. You've got your retaining screws as well as your uh, wing nuts and your springs and it also comes with, uh, it looks like thermal paste, but I'm not entirely too sure uh, what compound this is because you see it's not labeled. As you can see right here, the, the compound it comes with is not labeled, so I'm not entirely sure of what the compound is on this. Uh, I will be sure to use it in the uh, installation of this block because this is what it comes with. So I'm going to assume that this is what they recommend you use uh, with their water block. These are uh, all the retaining brackets and it does come with uh, an Allen key right here which you need to tighten down uh, obviously the screws and springs right here. You get your retaining bracket, looks like it's both for AMD and Intel. I'm really excited to see this because a lot of manufacturers are now making you choose whether or not you have to select AMD or Intel. And they're doing that to cut back on cost and materials, but unfortunately if you find yourself in the position I am where you're considering moving over to Intel from AMD, uh, you don't want to have to buy a replacement bracket. You'd like to already have it contained in the package. So AlphaCool does that. Bravo to you guys for including that in the package. Makes people like me who are very fickle with their hardware uh, very happy. Let's go ahead and get over to the meat of the contents here, and that is, of course, the water block. This thing is uh, very heavy. Looks like it's got a very uh, looks like it's a possibly a a brass and a uh, a copper here. It could be solid copper. I'm not entirely sure. Um, the base right here appears to be machined very very smooth. There is a sticker right now covering the surface of the. Uh, block itself. I'm not going to take this off until I'm ready to install it. You've got four screws here that obviously are holding the top piece on right here. Uh, this is a black chrome. This is a uh, solid metal top. Based on the screw threads on the inside you can see it's uh, copper on the top as well. So it is a full copper block both top and bottom. You can see the channels in there both for the inlet and the outlet. Uh, it does look like it's got quite a bit of surface area in there. Uh, Alpha Cool has always been near the top, if not on top, of all of the cooling charts when it comes to their blocks. So I'm really excited to see how this performs compared to my XSPC Raystorm block. Lately my Raystorm just hasn't been cutting it when it comes to my overclock, so this is something that I'm really looking forward to, to testing. Uh, this is a very neat design though. It's, it's, very, it's very basic. But it, again, it's elegant at the same time. So if you like to show off your system like I do, this is definitely going to be a good addition to your uh, system. So that's everything that comes in the package. Let's go ahead and get my system torn apart. Let's go ahead and get some of the old parts out of there. Let's get this CPU block in there. Let's put it to the test and see just how this thing performs.
Now I do have one gripe about this water block, and that's that the inlet and the outlet are awfully close together, which is kind of strange considering the size of the block. You would think they could have moved them a few millimeters apart, which would allow me to be able to use both compression fittings on this block. I'm using monsoon fittings and I can only get one to fit, so if, just be mindful of that if you're using compression fittings. But now we've come to the part that we've all been waiting for, the temperatures. Now I am using this water block in my AMD system. I'm using an AMD FX 8350 at stock speeds right now for the initial test. So let's go ahead and take a look at how cooling performed at stock speeds on the AMD. Now at stock speeds, it was an impressive 32 degrees core temperature maximum for the FX. That's really, really good considering it's a 125 watt chip. Now considering at stock speeds, it's nothing entirely too impressive, so let's see how well this thing performs at nearly 1 GHz overclock. Now once again, I am using my FX8350, but it's important to note I'm at 1.488 volts and I'm running at 4.936 GHz. That is almost a 1 GHz overclock from stock speeds. Now using Prime95 with all cores maxed out at 100%, you can see right here that the CPU socket temp is at 49 degrees Celsius. And our core temp's maxed out at 49 degrees Celsius. That's less than 50 degrees Celsius on the cores with nearly a 1 gigahertz overclock. So far my experiences with this block have shown that if you're an avid water cooler then you're definitely going to want to consider using the Alphacool Nexus water block for your CPU, whether you're AMD or Intel. The temperatures are great, the quality of the block is outstanding, it's very solid, it comes with plenty of surface area to give you maximum cooling regardless of the chip or the amount of overclocking that you're doing. But as is always the case with water cooling, you want to make sure that you have adequate radiator surface area as well as the matching components in order to complement the block as best as possible. So there you have it guys, this has been Jay's Two Cents on the Alphacool Nexus CPU water block used with my AMD FX 8350. This block is a winner in my eye, definitely consider it if you're building a water cooling system. And as always, follow me on Twitter, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.